For millennia, humanity has gazed up at the heavens, weaving tales of celestial bodies and cosmic mysteries. Yet our theories, equations and models crafted to understand our place in the universe have been challenged to their very core. The James Webb Space Telescope, a testament to human ingenuity and scientific prowess, has unveiled phenomena that defy our understanding of space, time, and the very building blocks of the cosmos. Galaxies older than predicted, planets larger than imagined, structures more perfect than conceivable, and a signal steady, rhythmic, and unnatural. None of these fit within the confines of any known astrophysical model. This isn't merely another discovery. It's a confrontation between our preconceived notions and the reality that lies beyond. The James Webb Telescope may have just delivered the most profound warning and invitation in human history. And if it's real, then everything we thought we knew about the universe is wrong. In a series of deep field observations, the James Webb Space Telescope captured some of the most detailed images of the universe ever seen. But beauty wasn't the only thing hidden in those pictures. In the galaxy cluster Abel 2744, researchers found perfectly aligned light points, symmetrical structures forming patterns that defy the chaotic world of galactic evolution. In NGC 1360R5, a spiral galaxy, unusual motion patterns suggested gravitational behavior that contradicted our most basic models. But it didn't stop there. Similar anomalies began appearing across multiple images. The farther James Webb looked, the stranger the universe became. Patterns repeating across billions of light years, structures showing geometric precision, and a cosmos that was supposed to be random. Scientists tried to call it coincidence, but there were too many. Too frequent, too perfect. And slowly, the whispers began. Maybe we're not seeing randomness at all, but a form of order we simply don't yet understand. Among the many targets of the James Webb Telescope was an exoplanet named HIP-6ETI-6b, located hundreds of light years away. What it revealed left astronomers speechless. This planet is seven times the mass of Jupiter orbits its star, at three times the distance of Neptune and exists around a star barely 15 million years old. By all known theories of planetary formation, this planet shouldn't exist. There's no visible protoplanetary disk, no leftover material, no gravitational explanation for how such a massive world could form so far out so quickly and remain stable. Some researchers have begun to speculate what if this planet isn't a product of its current system at all? What if it's a remnant of a previous cycle? A relic from a star system that came before somehow transplanted, reused, or deliberately placed? For now, there are no answers. Just a planet glowing at over 1,000 degrees suspended in a system that shouldn't have had time to build it. In one of the most surreal discoveries yet, James Webb imaged what's known as an Einstein ring, a gravitational lens caused by a massive foreground galaxy bending the light of one directly behind it. But this ring, located around galaxy J418, isn't just any lens. It's nearly perfect. A full, uninterrupted circle of light with such mathematical symmetry that even the most experienced astrophysicists were left stunned. For such an image to exist, the alignment between the two galaxies must be exact, down to fractions of a degree across billions of light years. That's not just rare, that's statistically improbable on a cosmic scale, and while gravitational lensing is a known phenomenon, the degree of perfection here is raising far more questions than answers. Could this be a hint of some deeper symmetry embedded in space-time itself? A sign that the universe isn't as chaotic as we've assumed, but instead governed by a geometry we've barely begun to perceive. But no discovery has rocked the scientific world like this. 
the James Webb Telescope has found massive mature galaxies forming just 180 million years after the supposed Big Bang. That may sound far away, but in cosmic terms that's impossible. According to our current models, galaxies shouldn't have had enough time to grow to these sizes, organise themselves into spiral structures, or produce the brightness Webb has recorded. These galaxies are as large as the Milky Way, fully formed and stable, when the universe should have still been a chaotic sea of gas. This has left cosmologists scrambling, because if these galaxies truly are as old as the data suggests, then our entire theory of how the universe began is collapsing. The Big Bang, long treated as the foundation of modern cosmology, may no longer hold, and as some researchers are now saying openly, we may be looking at a universe that had a history long before our beginning. In a region far from any major galaxy, Webb detected something completely unexpected, a gravitational lens effect in a patch of space where nothing visible exists. No stars, no galaxies, no black holes, yet light from more distant galaxies bends, curves and distorts, as if something massive is hiding there. Astronomers have tentatively attributed this to dark matter, a form of mass we can't see but which exerts gravitational force. But the precision and intensity of this lensing effect challenge even that theory, because the distortion is too strong, too localised. It behaves not like a diffuse cloud of dark matter, but like an object, a structure with defined mass, symmetry and edges. Could it be a cluster of dark matter condensed into a shape we don't yet understand? Or is this gravitational echo the remnant of something older? something left behind. Some physicists are now quietly floating ideas far more radical. That this isn't dark matter at all, but evidence of something built, something ancient and invisible, still warping space in its silence. Among the telescope's most controversial findings is the detection of a massive intergalactic filament, a stretch of galaxies and matter aligned so precisely that it forms a structure over a billion light-years long. Scientists have seen filaments before, part of the so-called cosmic web. But this one is different. Its alignment, density and repeating voids make it resemble a grid, almost like a framework laid across the universe. While mainstream cosmology argues that these patterns are the result of gravitational attraction over billions of years, the symmetry here is hard to ignore. The galaxies follow parallel paths. The dark matter clumps at exact intervals. Even the redshift readings from this region show a wave-like regularity, as if the fabric of the cosmos in this zone was intentionally engineered. Some researchers remain cautious, insisting that our brains are wired to find patterns even when none exist. But others now suggest that if the universe did have a builder, or if intelligence once shaped it, this would be where we'd begin to see the fingerprint. In chasing answers to the gravitational anomalies, one proposal has risen from the fringes into serious discussion, that dark matter long believed to be invisible and inert might actually carry information, not data as we know it but something deeper, a cosmic memory. In multiple web observations, clusters of galaxies formed in arrangements that seem to reflect distant earlier formations, almost like echoes repeating across time and space. What if dark matter, instead of being random, actually preserves traces of past cosmic structures? What if, as the universe expands, this hidden matter holds on to gravitational imprints, shaping future galaxies based on old alignments. It's an idea that blurs the line between physics and philosophy, suggesting that the universe might not only have a beginning, but also a memory. And if that's true, then every spiral, every cluster, every void might be part of a design far older than we imagined.
but perhaps the most spine-chilling finding yet is the one few are willing to speak about. During a deep field scan in a void sector, the James Webb telescope recorded a series of pulses, light fluctuations too regular to be random, too faint to come from any known star. The signals didn't match the frequency of pulsars or quasars. They repeated at exact intervals, then vanished completely. At first, scientists suspected it was an error, a reflection, interference, even a processing glitch. But after running the data through independent systems, the pattern remained. The origin point showed no stellar mass, no nebula, no heat signature, just a steady flash, precisely timed, as if measured or timed. For now, NASA has declined to comment. But behind closed doors, researchers are asking a question that has echoed for decades. What if it's a message not meant to be received, but simply noticed? And if so, who or what was meant to see it? The James Webb Space Telescope was built to reveal the past, to peel back the layers of time and show us what the universe looked like billions of years ago. But in doing so, it may have shown us something even deeper, that we are not just observers of the cosmos. We are part of a system far older, more precise and more deliberate than we ever imagined. Galaxies that shouldn't exist, planets that defy gravity, signals without sources, structures that mirror intelligence. This isn't random noise. This isn't just science fiction flirting with curiosity. These are data points real, measurable, undeniable, that challenge the very fabric of our understanding. And if the patterns are real, if the pulses are deliberate, if the universe remembers, then we must confront the most unsettling possibility of all. We have never been alone, not in time, not in space, not even in thought. Because what James Webb may have just uncovered is not just a map of the early universe, it may be a message left behind, or a system that was waiting for us to look deeper. And now that we have, the world may never see the stars the same way again. So now we ask you, are these discoveries signs of something more, or are we just seeing reflections of our own desire to find meaning in the void? Let us know what you believe in the comments. And if you want to keep exploring the cosmic riddles that the rest of the world is just beginning to notice, subscribe and turn on the notification bell because the next image from James Webb might not show us where we came from, but where we're meant to go. We'll see you beyond the veil. The James Webb Space Telescope's discoveries have shaken the foundations of our understanding of the universe. These findings challenge our current theories, forcing us to reconsider our place in the cosmos. As we continue to analyse the data, we are left with more questions than answers. Are these anomalies evidence of a universe more orderly than we believed? Or are they mere coincidences? Is dark matter carrying cosmic memories, or is it something entirely different? And what about the enigmatic signals detected in deep field scans? Are they intentional messages or just random noise? These questions are not just academic. They touch on the very essence of our existence. If the universe is more ordered than we thought, it suggests a designer, a builder, a watchmaker. If dark matter carries cosmic memories, it implies a universe with a past, a history that predates our own. And if the signals we detected are intentional, it suggests we are not alone. That there is intelligence out there, perhaps watching us, perhaps waiting for us. These are not easy questions to answer. They require new theories, new models, new ways of thinking but they are questions worth asking, questions that push the boundaries of our understanding, questions that challenge us to look beyond the veil of what we know and see the universe as it truly is. The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a door to a new era of cosmic exploration, an era that will test our courage, 
our creativity and our capacity to wonder. And as we step through that door, we take a giant leap towards understanding our place in the cosmos. We may not know what lies beyond that veil, but we are certainly excited to find out.